Shalom, shalom. This is your brother Shamak out of the Great Millstone, Atlanta camp. Before I get started, I want to give all the glory. Infinite praises unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, or Chakwadash. Yahweh being the Heavenly Father's true name and His only begotten Son's true name being Yahweh Shai, both in the Hebrew language, whom the world incorrectly calls God in Jesus Christ. Also, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Who teach and rule well, and who are the true leaders of the Hebrew Israelites within these last days. Also, I want to give a shalom to all the sincere brothers that's pushing teaching the truth worldwide, and shalom to all you sincere listeners and you sincere believers. All right, thought to come with a lesson concerning the sense of urgency. All right, and this being the energy and the spirit. All right, that the prophets and the men of the Lord and the hopeful elect truly carry. Okay, that's that's that spiritual sense of urgency. All right, as whereas you know you can relate to the world. You know, um, as someone, you know, basically being, um, basically not, not, you know, not that bullshitting spirit, not the lollygagging spirit, okay? Not that I get to it when I get to a spirit, okay? That, you know, but a, a spiritual sense to it because this this involves serving Yahweh by Shemi Yahweh Shai, all right? You you can think upon someone that that's reliable, moving with that sense of urgency, you know, responsible, Okay? But this is the energy and ultimately the, the spirit that that the that the prophets are truly moving with, okay, in these last days. All right, because this, look at this uh this definition here or this meaning here. I just typed in in Google sense of urgency meaning and just to see what would pop up. And it would this was and this is a pretty uh heavy meaning. All right, so it reads a sense of urgency is a feeling or attitude that a task must be carried out quickly and with great intensity. This term often appears when organiza organizations need to mobilize resources to address an urgent issue or complete a major project with a tight deadline. Man, hey, this is this is heavy. So, a sense of urgency is a feeling or attitude that a task must be carried. And this is a task serving Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai and keeping uh and fearing fearing the Lord and keeping His commandments. That's a that's a must. That's a that's a must task. All right, must to do task, man. Okay, that is to be carried out quickly and with great intensity. Okay, with great intensity, man. That's why you see the prophets uh, crying aloud and, and sparing not, as it's spoken about in Isaiah chapter fifty eight verse one. All right, with great uh, with great passionate, you know, energy. Okay, consistent, you know, on a consistent basis. All right. So let me grab, let me grab 2 Chronicles chapter 36, verse 15. It reads, And the Lord power of their fathers sent to them by his messengers, rising up be times and sending, because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. All right. So the Lord sending out his prophets, his his teachers, all right, and giving and giving his his prophets the understanding of the Bible. All right, and, and the prophecies that are, to, that are to come to pass very, very soon is a sign of compassion that the Lord is giving towards his people. And his people being you Hebrew Israelites, who are truly you Negroes, Latinos, and you Native Americans who are scattered worldwide. This is compassion up, upon you, you know, uh, ultimately unto you, okay? And I just want to read this in the uh, BBE version, which means the uh, basic, well, Bible basic English version, Okay. Is uh and it reads, and the Lord, the God of their fathers, sent word to them by his servants, sending them sending early and frequently, because he had pity on his people and on his living place. Yeah, so this message and this energy that's being carried out by the prophets, being carried out by the hopeful elect, being carried out by his sincere worshipers and his sincere believers with great intensity, because it's a, it's a must to do task that is to be carried out quickly, because what the time is short. All right, we don't have we don't have time to be like, oh, I get to it when I get to it, uh, to bullshit. All right, to 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 not to not use the spirit because we understand the Lord will take away the spirit. All right, so this is a must. This is a task that must be carried out quickly and with great intensity. All right, because with this the, the, these plagues that the Lord's about to bring is going to be uh, greatly intensified. These prophecies are going to be greatly intensified concerning World War Three, concerning thermonuclear missiles, concerning violence that is going to. Uh, Explode all throughout the streets, all throughout the world. Okay, the the intensity that's going to be brought by Esau Edom. All right, so this is a must. This is a must to do task. It says this term often appears when organizations need to mobilize resources to address an urgent issue. And what's the urgent issue? 
to repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right. To repent, turn back from your wicked ways and serve Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai in all truth and sincerity and to the best of our ability. All right. So we can receive grace and mercy when the time comes, man. All right. When Yahweh Shai returns, when the players are being sent on a, on a, on a, on a large scale. All right. On a heavy, on a heavy, on a heavy measure. Okay. It says mobilize resources to address an urgent issue or or complete a major project within within a tight deadline. And what's the tight deadline, man? We know that the Lord's gonna uh return the thief in the night. All right, we understand this. Let me get um let me grab Baruch chapter four. Baruch chapter four. All right. Baruch chapter four because this is going this is going to basically just elaborate even more on that spiritual sense of urgency and that's how the prophets are moving all right and in 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 contrast that's how the world is not moving but it's okay because that's that's fine because that's that's how the Lord ultimately had this thing written and how it it had it had it meant to play out you know for people to be lollygagging people think it's a joke people think it's a phase all right but ultimately it's going to lead to their destruction it's going to lead them to being put to death in in, in different various different different amounts of ways all right but this is Baruch chapter uh, 4, verse 27. It reads, Be of good comfort, O my children. Yeah, for you, for you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. This, this truth is for you, all right? And cry unto the Most High. For ye shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. See, this is comforting. We know that the power the power that we serve is ultimately in control of all these things that are taking place on the earth, all right? These other religions can't say the same, all right? Verse 28. For as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High, and we did, through our wickedness, being disobedient, wanting to serve other gods, wanting to follow after these heathen nations, all right, to, wanted to be like them, all right, so we, we, we went astray from, our, from serving our power, and he allowed that to take place, all right? It says, so, being returned, seek him ten times more. That goes back to that great intensity that must be carried out what? Quickly. This task must be carried out quickly, man. This, we, we're seeking the Lord ten times more. We understand that we're not, we're not, we're not in our rest. We're not in the kingdom of heaven. All right, we're not saved right now. For you Christians, for you pastors teaching that, teaching these, uh, these Christians, these these sleep, all right, Christians that they're that they're saved after the, after you just dump them in some water and bring them right back up. All right, now baptism is in the scriptures. That's a side. This is a side note. All right, but it's through the cleansing of the word as of now. All right, but. We are not saved, man. That's why we're seeking the Lord ten times more, okay? And that's why I'm going to get Isaiah chapter 55, Isaiah 55 and 6. All right, this shows you, this. these are just scriptures to show you that it, there's a spiritual sense of urgency that must be carried out in these last days, all right? And without it, you you will be left out there. You'll be clueless. You'll be confused, all right? And it's ultimately going to lead you to being idle, distracted, Okay? This is Isaiah chapter 55, verse 6. It says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. All right, so yeah, you, you find the Lord while you can. Find the answers. Find the, the, the truth all right, of the Bible while, you, while, while it may be found. Why it's being taught. Why it's being you know, pushed all throughout the internet. All right, all throughout the earth. Okay? And, 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 find, and find the Lord, man. Find the faith in Yahweh by Shem Shai and retain and you know sustain it, maintain it until the end. All right. Let me also grab Romans chapter 13. These are just then these are classic scriptures. These are and these are scriptures that are usually brought out on the highways and byways, on the streets by the Hebrew Israelites, by the prophets. Okay. This is Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to wake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. All right, that's a that's a spiritual that's a sense of urgency, man. This is a feeling or attitude that a task must be carried out quickly with great intensity. That's Romans thirteen eleven, man. That now it is high time to wake out of sleep. So yeah, come out of those distractions, come out of those those uh old wicked ways. All right, it says for now our salvation with salvation is going to deliverance, being delivered by the angels in, in Yahweh Shai on those chariots. Which the world would call UFOs. All right, these times are closer than what me and you believe, man. Things may seem like, oh, that'll happen in five years. Then what about what? It, what if it happened next year, man? We don't know. We, we the scriptures speak about that. We know we know not the day or hour when our Lord returneth, man. Right, these prophecies can escalate and happen very, very quickly for the to, for the fulfillment of them. Then for Yahweh shall return, 
and save the elect of the nation of Israel. All right. These times are closer than what me and you think, even though it may seem as in quote dragged on or prolonged. All right. It seems like it's a long time, but it's, it's truly not. What's this? What's this time compared to us living forever? All right. Nothing. It says verse 12. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. So, yeah, let us repent. All right. Let us stop doing the wicked things that we're doing. All right. Knowingly and, and unknowingly. And let us put on the armor of light. And that come, and that's coming through the serving Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Coming in the armor of light. All right. And that's truly a gift from Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right. So I want to grab. I want to grab probably one more scripture that I had at the top of my head. Unless another one pops up. This is Sirach chapter 5 verse 7. It reads. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. So that also pushes that spirit of that sense of urgency. All right, no time for bullshit, no time to, you know, just do what you want, you know. This is time to, man, sacrifice. This is time to seek ye first the kingdom of heaven. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. All right, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, man. It says, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. So, yeah, don't delay. Don't wave it off. All right. It says, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed. And perish in the day of vengeance. So yeah, that's why this this task and this the, the work of the Lord is a is a sense of urgency uh task, man. All right, that must be carried out quickly and with great intensity because destruction is upon, man. All right, the, the people are going to be get put to death. All right, on a mass scale, millions, billions. Okay, and then they will perish in the day of the Lord's vengeance. Okay, so yeah, that's why it must, this task that we're doing, yes, is that serious? Yes, it's it's the uh, yes, it's not it's not a phase. Okay, it's to be done on a consistent basis, day to day, week in week. All right, consistently. It says this term often appears when organizations need to mobilize resources to address an urgent issue or complete a major project within a tight deadline. Yes, we are within a tight deadline. We don't get we won't be able to get a second chance in receiving salvation. All right. Uh, yeah, that's that's the point. That's the point. It says improving process says strong allows you to identify potential issues quickly, giving you more time to develop issues. Yeah, the the, the point. The, no, this is the point. All right, and the scriptures back up. You know, moving with that that spirit, that sense of urgency. That truly, this is the energy and the spirit that the prophets and the hopefully let carry. Man, moving with that sense of urgency, going to, attending camp. Consistently, attending class consistently, all right, being charitable within the ministry of Yahweh Shai consistently, tithing consistently, doing these things that are faith based consistently, all right, and it's going to be rewarded by the Lord, all right. So let me grab Hebrews chapter 6, which is comforting, all right. So this is Hebrews chapter 6, verse, verse 9, it says, Better things for you, all right, but beloved, we are persuaded better things of you. And things that accompany salvation. That's what what that's what makes this thing an, an urgent uh, urgent issue. All right, because this thing brings upon we, the things that the prophets in the in the Hebrew Israelites speak about. All right, have to have have to do with your salvation. Have to do with your deliverance. All right, have to do with saving your life. Okay, not with putting you know just putting some money in your pocket. Not just with some great a great talking point for your next podcast or your next interview or your next debate. All right, no. It says, though we do speak, verse 10, for the most high is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which you have showed towards his name, yet the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and in that name only. It says, in that ye have ministered to the saints who are the Hebrew Israelites, and do minister. So the Lord's not going to forget what we're doing, all right, especially when we're doing it with faith and sincerity. The Lord won't forget, best believe, all right? So, you know, Lord willing, uh, this lesson was edifying. And also encouraging concerning that spirit of sense of urgency. All right. I want to end up by giving all the glory. Infinite praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak, Wadash. All right. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. All right. Repent. Yahweh Shai is coming back. Repent. Yahweh Shai is coming back. All right. Shalom. Shalom.